What is going on? Now, I review a lot of technology, software, all that good stuff, the odd water bottle here or there. But when it comes to like bags, nine times out of ten, I say no to them because I, I have no, not that I don't have an interest. I don't believe my viewers would have an interest. But when I get certain bags or companies send me certain bags, I get a bit excited. Like KF Concepts sent me some a while ago regarding my camera equipment, which was unbelievable. Now, I've always wanted something where I can keep everything in that I travel with. So my laptop, my tablets, my phones, my cameras, uh, accessories, stationery, all in one bag without having to take extra bags, extra padding, you know, cables, all that good stuff. I end up traveling and then carrying, you know, a stupid, a stupid amount of bags that I don't need. Well, we now have the Myth Backpack 18 litre. Well, this one's going to be interesting. Guys, this is the bag we are look at. This is the Myth bag, and I believe this is the 18 litre bag. So we do have, just to start off with, we do have a few tags here, just to let you know roughly what's going on. This is the Smarter bag. It's got a little bit about uh, the luggage pass through and all that good stuff. Uh, everything to do with like the sling tech, uh, how, how you actually put it on, all that good stuff, especially the water repellent. And there's all sorts going on here. So Smarter bag technology, so you can scan that as well. So what we're gonna quickly do is get those clipped off. So just before we go into opening any pockets, we'll have a look on the outside and see roughly what we've got. So as we can see, they've went for more of a denim blue and as well as their logo in the top right hand corner there, which I really like that. That is really nice. So that's a metal logo uh, pinned onto that. Then we have our bag itself. We do have a few reflective strips going on here. So if you are walking in the night and you know, you've know got cyclists and all that behind you, they'll be able to see you, which is really nice to see. But the thing I'm, that I want to show you guys is the back. Now, this is the back here, obviously, so we have our actual straps going on here. They have another one of their logos. We have a mid strap here as well, so this is going to allow you to pin it around around your side to, uh, for that extra comfort, which is really nice to see. When you're not using it, there is a little insert sleeve here so where it can go, so it's just packed away or hidden away. Same on the other side, which is very nice to see. But it's this I wanted to show you. Now, from your angle, that looks pretty much, oh, wow, you, yeah, it's got some padding, but look at the thickness of that. Now that is that is a good inch and a half of just pure padding and it is absolutely incredible. Now this is what I was saying when it comes to a bag that has a lot of padding. If this has got a lot of products in it or a lot of equipment where it's going to be extremely heavy, you definitely need something that's going to keep you comfortable, especially with the arm straps up by the shoulders where it's going to be sitting. That is thick foam, so that really is, is going to help you in the long run if you are traveling. Uh, going far distances to you know get that perfect photography shots, this really is going to keep you comfortable. At all times and it really is incredible as well as the clips as well so you've got mid body clips and you've also got some extra straps coming on down the bottom so this really is going to be helpful so let's go back up to the front so we'll start off in the front packet and sit and i said front packet front pocket so first of all we do have a quick quick grab pocket so right at the front this doesn't have any zips or anything but if you've got anything that you need to hand very quickly non-valuable all that sort of stuff that can go in there so that goes all the way down so already there, you've already got a huge amount of storage where if you want simple things like books and all that, that can just sit in that front pouch, which is very easy, easily accessible to get to. Now with this pouch, now this is the first pouch we come to. So first of all, we do have a little pin here with their logo going on there, used that for various things. And then we do have a lot of things going on here. So first of all, we have a zip that goes all, all the way down to about halfway down the bag. So there alone, is where you could keep your valuables where you know they're pretty easy accessible but you're not going to get them anytime soon and you can also clip them on inside so see if it's your wallet you can clip your wallet in put it in there zip it up so you know it's extra safe but you also have a one two three four five six seven seven other pockets here <clears throat> which you can store anything you need so like say if you use this for stationary area you've got all this space here for uh, your uh, your bigger stationary and then this can be where you put all your smaller accessories or for me this will be where my tablet goes as well as all my external cables as well as memory cards you could fit pretty much anything you want in there and it really is nice there is a circle loop going in here that goes from this pocket to the rear pocket as well so if you want like say headphones or anything to go through there it really is easy so you can use that as well and like i said this pocket goes all the way down the bottom so it is really simple so we'll do that one off and then we'll get on to the next one 
So next pocket being uh, obviously uh, much larger. So on this one, we have some similar things going on. So as we can see, large amount of space going on there. We do have a, another security a security pocket going on up here. So a little bit smaller, but this is where you can put like things like your, your headphones or anything like that. Anything that you want quick access, but also to be safe and secure, that can go in there. We have inner, inner pockets here as well. So if you want certain things to be separated, we also have that there. There is a few clips on the bag as well. So if you have certain things, like even if you're a pen fanatic or something like that, and you want a pen clipped in there, or you want other stuff clipped in there, that is also really nice. Now on the front of the, this pocket as well, we have another zip bag. So when I said about storage, I wasn't joking, but inside this zip bag is a soft fluffy material. So for instance, if you want your smartphone to sit in here or anything like that, something you don't want to get scratched or damaged or anything like that, pop it in that side of the bag where it's nice and soft. It's not going to scratch anything. And that's probably definitely where my smartphone would live or my spare phone will actually live. Just so I know that, you know, it's not going to get caught in the zips or anything. It's going to be safe, protected, and that's where it's going to live. And that is very nice. Apart from that, that's pretty much it for that pocket. So like I said, you do have a much, much larger amount of space in that. Now we have another one. So, so we have another one here. So as we can see in this one, we have a little tag here, which is STM, which is smarter than most. And this is uh, STM Australia, which is nice to see. But this is going to be the pocket for your the likes of your laptops. Uh, it's made out of like a softer material instead of like the other pockets. So uh, all the materials on the side are really soft. So this is where you can fit up to a 16 inch MacBook. Most 15 inch laptops will fit in here as well. But this is pretty much where you can keep it. You have another external pocket going on here. So for the likes of your, your power pack or your charging pack for your laptop or your tablets and all that, that can also live there. But even if you have a tablet, your tablet can also live there as well. Like I said, it will fit uh, most 15 inch laptops as well as 16 inch uh, MacBook Pros. So it's not gonna have any issues fitting any uh, conventional laptops or anything in there. And it really is nice. It's soft all the way down. There's no external pockets in this one, but it is extremely nice. Now, you'd think I'd be done with the pockets, but I'm not. But first of all, let's have a look at this. So we do have the wristband on the top here, which is riveted in either side, which does look very nice. And that is pretty much as strong as it's gonna get. I believe it's some kind of rubber, which looks like looks like some kind of strong rubber, but that's definitely something else that does add to the aesthetic. Now we do have side pockets also. So if I unzip this one, we do have a side pocket, but it actually flips out a little bit. So you've got uh, a little bit more space in there. So like I said, this these can also be used for quick access, but when you do zip them up uh, and when you do zip them up and you can hide that away, generally it doesn't look like there's a pocket there. So this can also be more of a safety area. So you can use this if you don't want anyone getting into a certain bit of your bag or if you want uh, valuables or anything like that. And it really does add to, add to this. And then we also have the exact same on the opposite side, uh, the same type of pocket going on there, which is also very nice. But I have to admit, this bag really is incredible. The amount of stuff you can fit in this is going to be absolutely great. And I'm definitely going to be replacing this to my other one because my other one's not too bad. It's just not the best. But I want this one. I've just recently got a new laptop. I got the Omen, 15, uh, the Omen 15 2021 laptop. And if anybody is watching, you know how expensive they are. And you want them to be stayed in a safe area. So this is definitely where it's going to be living from now on. Especially when I'm going around, you know, doing meets and all that rubbish. This is definitely the bag that I want to keep my products personally safe. So if you guys do want to go check them out, obviously, like I said, links are in the description. So please go check them out. Now, I know at the start, it didn't look like much. Ah, oh, it's a bag. What's, you know, what, what's so interesting about a bag? But when you actually looked inside of it, what there was, the, the supports, the padding, the pockets, the accessories that's actually inside the bag, this really is, is going to help me out a so, so much. You've got so many individual pockets, so many bits of individual packaging to allow all that stuff to go in there. This is a bag you can have that's going to allow you to carry everything with you, all your tech, all your gadgets, uh, all your stationery, everything you actually need. And it's going to be protected. You know, you've got the hardback layers. You've got that huge amount of foam on the back, which is always a huge thing about me. I always find companies don't put enough foam on the back and you get a bit uncomfortable. You end up putting it on one arm and putting it on the other. and it's, It gets annoying. When I end up packing up all my stuff, like all my cameras and all the other accessories that I take with me, it gets heavy. You need a bag that's going to support you because lumbar support is one of the main things. And when it comes to bags like this, it's just they've put everything they needed to into this bag. So if you do want to go grab one of these, I highly recommend it, especially when it's coming up to Christmas. 
it will be an absolute great gift. So head down the links in the description. There's links there so you can go check it out for yourself and check out some of their other stuff. You won't be dissatisfied. These really are incredible bags. And it's definitely going to be my bag from now on. Everything's going in here. My tablets, my laptops, absolutely everything. Because I know if I'm well, it's going to be protected. And I believe it fits up to about a 16-inch MacBook Pro as well. So pretty much all laptops are going to fit in here unless you're like a, a gamer fanatic with going for the, the bigger ones. But definitely from 16-inch MacBook Pro downwards, is it's going to fit pretty much most 15-inch laptops as well. And it's going to be absolutely incredible. So check the links in the description. Go check them out. And thank you very much for watching. If you do get one and you have any questions at all, drop them in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help. But as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my further videos. And thank you very much for watching.